His Majesty's ship Achilles, the third British ship in the Grafts Bay battle, returns to her home port at Auckland. She receives a welcome only comparable with London's reception of the Ajax and Exeter men. Jack comes ashore again for his first leave since the declaration of war. The dockside is chock-a-block with relatives and friends. Competition for the first kiss is in evidence. One little lady is actually jealous of her sailor daddy who got there first. The central figure is naturally Captain Parry. Needless to say, Mrs. Parry is proud to share in the welcome accorded her gallant husband. The Governor General, Lord Galway, comes aboard to bring His Majesty's greetings to the ship's captain and compliment. A salute to the quarter deck, a hand clasp for Captain Parry, and personal greeting for each individual officer. While the official part of the reception proceeds on board, the crowd waits with good-humoured impatience, cheering on their way men of the second New Zealand contingent who have a rendezvous with Hitler. The march of the Achilles men. Many a balcony stands a strain which is a tribute to the builders. Telephone directories in small pieces make good confetti. Hope nobody wants to look up a number tomorrow. All the nice girls love a sailor, and on a day like this they can show it. The ranks of the men of Achilles are but little depleted, for the skillful seamanship of their captain brought her through the river plate engagement with only slight scars and few losses. Even the letters on that canopy seem to be making whoopee, with the crowds greeting these fine chaps who have upheld British sea traditions as only Britishers can. And now, as one bearded stalwart says, where do we go from here?